In this video, we're going to take you through the WordPress dashboard and what it actually looks like and what everything does with inside it. As you can see, we're logged in, we have a numerous different areas. So first of all, I'm going to take you through the top bar. Along the top bar, there's a link to WordPress websites, wordpress.org, documentation for WordPress, support forums, and feedback. There's also the ability to go straight to your site. You can see comments that are left. And from the new tab, you can create posts, media, pages, and users. The menu on the left hand side gives you the option for your dashboard, which has home and updates underneath it. You also have posts where you can see all posts, add a new post, manage your categories and your tags. You have media, which will take you through to your media library and to add new media to your media library. You have pages where you can view all the pages on your website or add a new one. And you can click on comments, which will show you all your comments so that you can moderate them. So only real comments go onto your website. Below this, we have the administration options, which are appearance for themes to customize your theme, to add widgets, menus, settings for your theme, the header of your theme and a theme editor, which is a text based editor for those more advanced users. This particular menu may change depending on the theme that you're using. We also have plugins where you can view the installed plugins, which will change the functionality of your website. You can add a new plugin. And again, for more advanced users, there is a plugin editor. We then have users where you can view all of your users. You can add new users to use your website and you can change your profile. Under tools, available tools will show you a list of the available tools for your website. You have the ability to import WordPress posts and pages and export WordPress posts and pages. Under settings, we have general settings, writing options, reading options, discussion options, media options, what's known as permalinks, and the Limit Login Attempts plugin, which we installed during the setup. We will take you through these one at a time in a later video. We also have Supercacher, which is installed by the hosting. If you have chosen not to go with the SiteGround hosting, then you won't see Supercacher and you won't be able to install it because it is very specific to SiteGround, but it does help with the speed of your website. We'll also be showing you some tips later on on how to make sure that your website is super fast. Within the dashboard itself, we have in the top right hand corner, a help button, which will take you through the different options on the page. If you should get confused, you can see you have here the overview, navigation, layout and content. And you can read those at any point just by clicking on help. We also have screen options. The screen options change for every one of the menu op items. If you wish not to see, for example, the welcome message, if you click on the welcome button, you'll see that it's removed immediately. This allows you to customize what your dashboard looks like. We're going to leave the welcome option off. And within the dashboard, you can see at a glance what is going on. So we have currently have one post and one comment, which was created by the WordPress installation. You can see we're running the latest version of WordPress, which is WordPress 4.0. And we're running a theme that's called World. In our activity, you can see that recently published today was a brand new blog post. And you can see it's WordPress resources at SiteGround. We can also see that there's a default comment that's been put in there as well. If you wish to write an extremely quick draft, if you've had an idea for a blog post 
and you wish to write it out really, really quickly, then you can do so directly from your dashboard. Simply enter the title and a rough idea of what's going into the post and save this and it will be available in your posts under the all posts section as a draft. It will not show on your website until you publish it. You can also see here that we have WordPress news. This is directly from the WordPress website and blog, and this will keep you updated on what's happening in the world of WordPress on an ongoing basis. It's worth keeping an eye out just in case they should release a security update. It's always handy to know. In the next video, we'll be taking you through the different options on the menu on the left hand side so that you can see what every screen looks like.